everyone and welcome back to the Bayer Healthy Community Kitchen for another quick tip. My name is Claire and today we're going back to basics. I'm going to show you how to properly hold a knife and also show you some basic knife cuts to help you succeed in making healthy and delicious meals at home. So first off, how to properly hold a knife. You want to make sure you have a sharp chef's knife. A sharp knife is safer than a dull knife. Then I like to use my dominant hand, my pointer and my thumb, place them on the knife and then wrap your hand firmly around the handle. That's going to give you a nice firm grip on your knife. With your non-dominant hand, this is going to help hold your food in place, but we're going to create something like a bear claw. This is going to protect our fingertips, but also help hold the food in place. So let's start with cutting up this onion. So with the onion, there's a root end, kind of like a furry little root, and then the opposite end. We're going to go ahead and cut off the non-root end to make a flat surface. Now that you have a flat surface, go ahead and cut it in half through the root. And now you have two um, halves of your onion. So go ahead and peel those. Peel it. All right, now that we have our two peeled onion halves, we're gonna go ahead and dice up this onion. So what I like to do is put my hand firmly on top of the onion and use your knife to make one horizontal cut going towards the root, but not through it. Here we go. And now you can make vertical cuts going towards the root, but not through it. I like doing about five or six. And now make vertical cuts going the opposite way. The more cuts you make, the thinner your cuts are, the smaller your dice will be. And there you have it. Nicely chopped onion. Next up, we're gonna cut a bell pepper and we're gonna make slices out of this. So I like to think of bell pepper of having four sides. So let's cut off the four sides. So there's one, and now you can place it down flat and cut off the other side, third, and the fourth. You can even slice off a bit on the bottom. And you have your nice bell pepper sides and all of the seeds are left in the center. And you can just compost that or discard it. Now with each of our sides, go ahead and make some thin strips or slices. Keeping your bear claw. This would be really nice for stir fries um, or even if you were making like a quesadilla. All right, now that we have all of our bell pepper strips, I'm gonna show you how to dice these. And all you have to do is just turn a couple of your slices and run your knife down through it. The smaller cuts you can make or you can make them as large as you want as well. Now you have very even dices of bell pepper. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to make potato fries or planks, and you can even uh, dice these as well. So with something um, oblong like this, or it's kind of circular, you wanna create a flat surface. So let's go ahead and do that. This works really well for zucchini or summer squash too. Now that we have that flat surface, gonna make it a little safer and easier for us to cut. So let's go ahead and make uh, about a fourth or a half inch planks. Now that we have our planks, we can stack them on top of each other and we're gonna make a fry shape. Let's go ahead and just make some long strips like that. And then you have like French fry shapes. And you can simply just make a dice by doing the same thing like we did with the bell pepper, lining up your strips, and then going over and making dices. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to peel garlic and mince it. So this is a whole bulb of garlic, and you can just use your fingers to kind of separate the cloves. So I'm just gonna separate a couple of these cloves. And there is a papery shell on the outside. To remove that, you can actually use your knife. So point the blade away from you and carefully use that palm again, protecting your fingers, and you can just firmly press down. Mm -hmm. 
now that our garlic is smashed, that papery skin just kind of comes off. Okay, now that the papery skin has been removed from our garlic cloves and they're already kind of smashed, go ahead and just run your knife over the garlic cloves in kind of a rocking motion. So I'm never actually picking my knife up from the cutting board. And go slow at first, it takes practice to go fast with the knife, but be safe. And now what you can do is just kind of run your knife over and just keep bringing it back up into a pile and that's going to help um, mince it or create very, very small dices. Okay, and now we have some minced garlic. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to chiffonade um, uh, herbs or even like spinach, so leafy greens. So this is a great technique to use. Chiffonade just means like making ribbons. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of my leaves of spinach and stack them on top of each other. This works really, really well for basil too. And we're just going to roll them up into a barrel or even like a cigar shape and then use your knife to run down the cigar shape and to create thin ribbons. This is really nice for a salad or if you're not cooking your herbs or your veg. Now you have very pretty ribbons or a chiffonade of uh, spinach. All right, everyone, well, I hope you enjoyed today's quick tip and you feel a little bit more confident in using these knife cuts and creating healthy and delicious meals at home. Uh, thanks for watching, bye.